Hey guys, today it's uh, June the third, uh, two thousand eleven, and I'm here in my Mitsubishi Outlander XLS uh, with Rockford uh, sound system. I want to show you guys the hot unit I got from Casca in China, and I have been using many different hot unit before. Uh, including the ones I just put out, which is the stock uh, MMCS. Uh, well, it is in a perfect condition, so if anybody uh, need it, I do have everything, including the bracket, uh, the harness, uh, and even the Mitsubishi GPS antenna. Uh, what makes this machine special is uh, basically one of the very little function it built in is you don't really have to put in another interface uh, to activate your Rockford uh, amplifier. Um, just two little harness come with it and plug and play. Uh, everything is just working out like a charm. Uh, as I mentioned, because it is a XLS, I have the sand roof and also the Bluetooth, um, and there are the Bluetooth buttons. So let me quickly turn on the vehicle. So now we can get started. Give it a little power. And you can see the start up logo is customizable. And the default uh, screen is the uh, radio. So you have the AM, you have the FM, and all the searching functions of the station uh, is there. So once it is uh, on rest mode, uh, it will see a little um, black home showing up just to have a little bit of fun um, it has the RDS uh, function built in so say 94.5 uh, in Vancouver yeah you can see the it's showing 94.5 it's the beat uh, FM and when it is playing any sound or music uh, it will actually tell you the name of it the little close button there just bring you back to the screen saver uh, or whatever you, you want to call it uh, that is the screen usually will appear during you driving your car so on the right hand corner there's a little clock and you can actually change how it looks like just different colors different schemes as you like and of course it has the uh, oops, um, EQ mode so you can customize all the frequencies by yourself okay, one of the important function of the machine is uh, uh, even though the stock Bluetooth won't work for sure uh, but you actually still retain retaining all the buttons on the uh, steering wheel say the voice up and down function it's still working there you can see the little figure changing and also the channel up and down it's also being retained and the mode button now working as uh, what it is said so you can select between iPod uh, audio in video in DVD uh, the TV uh, the virtual um, six disc and radio. So let me just change to something different, just showing it is working. So change it to iPod. Right now I don't have the iPod uh, connected, but uh, even though without the cable, um, I can connect my iPod through the Bluetooth, which is um, which can be accessed. Let's go back to the original menu. So that's the Bluetooth, and that's the Bluetooth screen. Uh, you can pair a uh, pair your phone. You can connect your phone disconnected. Uh, that's the dialing interface, and also it can play the music through Bluetooth. So not really need the cable to um, play the music, but uh, just to mention, it does come with the actual long 
iPod cable, uh, which is more enough to wear it all the way from the unit uh, to my central uh, box. So I can just connect it and then leave it there. It will charge the iPhone as well. Okay, so let's go back to the radio. There we go. And uh, just want to show you all these buttons uh, can be retained. And the reason I'm just keep mentioning it is because the Mito interface I used before to put in my flight audio unit um, won't retain these buttons, so I have to leave them. Um, but plus, uh, you will also um, be able to utilize the Bluetooth buttons. So the original phone uh, function button right now is reassigned to uh, mute. So once you press it, the machine gonna go mute. And the original answer phone button right now is reassigned to a GPS. So right now I haven't really put in a, a GPS card yet, but uh, you got the idea. And the original horn up phone button is assigned to um, get it back to radio. So again, the mute, GPS, and go back to radio. So the um, sad part is uh, you cannot really utilize the stock Bluetooth, but the Bluetooth come with the machine is not really uh, that bad. It's actually pretty good. Uh, you don't have to install a microphone separately. It's all built into the machine, and it is very uh, sensitive. Uh, well, I just make a phone call yesterday, and uh, the other side cannot even notice uh, I was using a Bluetooth. It's pretty good. And right now, the part I'm working on is uh, try to re-aware the RCA jack to the machine, uh, which is uh, sort of uh, really confusing because uh, just too many cables under the dash. And you know, I, right now I cannot figure out which cable uh, to wear at this moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll keep working on it and I'll keep you guys updated.